A homeless man has admitted to a string of bank robberies in South Minneapolis. A police arrested 38 year old Aaron Yashinsky following the robbery of the U.S. Bank on East Lake Street Friday afternoon. Investigators say that they used some video to follow him across the street to an apartment. Reg Chapman joins us now with more on how investigators were able to catch up with that serial robber. Reg? Well, Frank, investigators say Aaron Yashinsky walked into the U.S. Bank on East Lake Street and gave the teller a note demanding money. He said he, had, he did have a gun, but he never showed it. Now, after robbing the bank, investigators say their big break came when he walked across the street to the Midtown Global Market. This U.S. bank on East Lake is the fourth bank robbed in South Minneapolis in four weeks. When police got to the bank minutes after it was robbed, witnesses were able to give them a description of the man responsible. Investigators immediately called the Strategic Information Center to see if city cameras caught him getting away. They had spotted a, a white male in, the, in a jacket that was described in the robbery crossing the streets heading towards the global market just across the street from the U.S. Bank. Minneapolis police partnered with the FBI and security from the Midtown Global Market. They pulled video from the 260 cameras in the building and were able to track his movement through the market. You can tell he's moving very quickly and he's using uh, different accessories to change his appearance and not look at all like he did inside the bank. He eventually found his way to a nondescript door near the back of the global market that is only used by residents that uh, have access to the apartments that are above the global market. Investigators showed photos from a previous bank robbery to building security. They identified the man as 38-year-old Aaron Yashinsky, a man they had barred from the property. They learned he had been staying in a third floor apartment with friends. A search of that apartment gave them what they needed to arrest and charge Yashinsky. Recovered evidence of uh, this incident uh, clearly linking him and then we were able to interview two people who had uh, specific knowledge of what he'd been doing in the past month. Now, Yashinsky told investigators he was responsible for robbing banks on February 12th, 17th, 18th, and the one last Friday. He was recently released from prison for a 2013 conviction for bank robbery, Frank. All right, Rich. Thank you.